What's up, YouTube? This is your boy JD, and thank you for viewing Coast to Coast Gamers. I want to thank the people that commented on my previous videos. Thank you. At least somebody is actually commenting on my videos and letting me know that they actually like it and actually hitting that like button. But you know what? I'm going to stop stressing about that. Just going to ask you guys to please just subscribe to the channel. Please hit that like button. If you're going to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you know right away that my video has been posted on YouTube. But as you can see, my Redskins have lost two games back to back. So hopefully us playing against the Giants will be a turnaround. That we will actually win this game so we can be 2-2 in the NFC East. Because right now I think the Cowgirls, I mean, doggone it, the Cowboys are also 2-1 and one along with the Giants and I think the Eagles are tied with us as well they're 1-2 and two. so let's go ahead and get to the game the Redskins versus the New York Giants playing in MetLife Stadium let's do this man hey everybody it's the coach and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports up next we'll see the new number seven in Washington Dwayne Haskins and the Redskins as they take on a man back for a 16th NFL season Eli Manning and the New York football Giants I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime but kickoff right around the corner and standing by to call the action in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback here we go here we go 50 play 53 Mike 53 watch the out watch the out Here's the former number two pick, the Pro Bowler Saquon Barkley. Pushing tacklers aside. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Faking the give to Barkley, now Manning. He's going to go for a big play downfield. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Now Manning, over the middle, complete to Tate. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and then run down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. But most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Give him seven on the play. And they're going to face a third down. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. And gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. And really gets them amped up as they go forward. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Let's go. The Redskins taking the field, led once again by a number seven. Of course, Joe Theismann's old number hadn't been used in 33 years, but Joe gave the okay to wear it to this man. Their first round pick, Dwayne Haskins. Now Haskins steps away to his left. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. It's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down, but not 
before reaching the 21. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch that? Absolutely. Ball? You know, hey, he should have touched it. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count, can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? It'll be a gain of 11, and it'll be second and goal. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Redskin touchdown. Darius Geis, his first touchdown on the year. And the Redskins have taken a first quarter lead. Now this is a crew, they've come out flat their last two games, both losses, but just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've you been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you've gone somewhere, but you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101. The he can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. They can't stop the plan, Charles. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Throwing his Manning on third down. And he hits his man, Matthews. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On first down, Manning. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Now Manning, over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man cover. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. It seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him. Out of that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Dancing to his left. Now to the left here to Reed. 
And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. That's good for 28 yards. As a general rule, offensive line. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. Darius Geis as the first half is winding down. And the Redskins have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Set to take over here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half. And they've had through an opening, and there he goes. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Washington. Touchdown. Darius Geis, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. They often become the leading receiver. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Manning going to come up on first and 10. And he's 5 for 6 now throwing the ball on this drive. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. That throw good for 4. It's second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. 22 yards there, a first down. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play in the football. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, but now it's third and goal. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really... And he will take it on in. Front giant touchdown. Russell Shepard, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, you know, it doesn't feel right. Exactly. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, 
the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now it's Haskins buying time to his left. Got a man, that's Quinn. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Manning and the Giants down by 13. A little under a minute 50 remaining. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Throwing is Manning. Tate. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. Into the red zone now. Manning gets this out to Saquon Barkley. A gain of four on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bid off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. Nope. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Sterling Shepard, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I didn't like was the final decision to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. Instead, they give the defense an extra timeout. Guy showing he's going to be an important part of this Redskin backfield as he's in there again for first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Two times, two times. Hey, hey, hey. Three, 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 three. On first down, this is Geis. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. 
And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. So hail to the Redskins as they get the victory here. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. Well, we were able to pull it off and uh, we won. You know, defense almost threw the game away. But anyways, we pulled it off. So, I will be doing another game today. Today is Saturday. By the oh, well, you should know that because I'm posting the game up on a Saturday. Duh. But anyways, <laughs> um, I will be doing another game today. So, I'm going to try to do two games uh, every time I post up a video. But remember to uh, always uh, hit that like button and keep keep up with the comments. Let me know if you liked it. Um, you got a little funny remarks. Hey, put it down. You know, I'm just happy to have someone actually comment on my videos for once. But you guys take care and be uh, be on the lookout for my for game two today. Y'all take care. Peace.